Hi, seventh graders. Um, let's go ahead and get your notes set up for today. I don't have a ruler, so I am just gonna freehand my line. Today is the 28th. Okay, so your objective for today um, is to be able to write. So I can write algebraic expressions. from patterns and real world problems. Okay, so um, first of all, I want to just lay out the format that we're gonna be dealing with. Um, you're gonna have some number times a variable. We'll just call it x right now, but the variable can change depending on which situation we're talking about, plus some number. So this, this number that's added on the end is always um, what you start with. So starting uh, or we could also say like um, what where you start when you're at the zero step. And I'll go over what that means in just in more in just a second. It can also be like a one-time fee. Fee or bonus. Okay? This number that's being multiplied by your variable is your um, reoccurring amounts or sometimes it's referred to as the rate okay so now let's go ahead what I want to do is I want to look at that problem that was at the back end of your um, uh, it was the very last problem on the worksheet we didn't get a chance to finish yesterday so if you look at that problem it was a triangle problem that looked like this so this was step one, and then step two looked like this, and then step three looked like this. And what our goal is, is we wanna write an algebraic expression for this. So we're gonna do a couple things to get us there. The first thing that I wanna do is create a table. So I'm gonna have um, N stand for the step number. And um, I'll, I'll make P stand for the toothpicks, the number of toothpicks. Okay, so, and I'm gonna leave a space at the top there so that we can do the zero step, but we'll come back to that in just a second. For step one, you can see that we have one, two, three toothpicks. For step two, we have three, four, five toothpicks. Step three, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven toothpicks. And if we were con to continue this pattern all along, um, we would have, at step four, we would have nine, and step five, we would have 11. So you can see that this is going, you're adding two each time you go from one step to another. So what that means is that two is our reoccurring amount, our rate. Now to find our starting place, we need to go backwards and subtract two to find out what was what would be the number of sticks at the zero step. And if we use the rule that we're given, it'll be one. So now using this format, I'm gonna write it out. 
you have some number times your variable plus some number. So the number that's being multiplied by your variable is what's reoccurring. In this case, two is being added every time, so that's your reoccurring amount. Now what's being added on the end is your starting point. In this case, that's your zero step. So that's gonna be a one. Now you wanna test out your expression and make sure that it works. So just try one of the steps. Let's plug in two. Step number two is, we'll plug in for x. Um, two times two is four. Four plus one is five, and that works. You can see here when, our, when we're on step number two, we should have five toothpicks. So I'm gonna have you try one. I'm gonna draw out a pattern here for you. Okay, so we're gonna be looking at how many toothpicks are used to create that pattern. We're just assuming that all these lines are toothpicks. Sorry, I'm sure my drawing is not incredible and I apologize for that. But hopefully you can make sense of it. Okay, so what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you fill in a table first and then I'm gonna see if you can write an algebraic expression to represent this information. Okay, I'll go ahead and pause this video. I would like you to figure out, um, get your table filled in and see if you can write this expression. And then when you're ready, go ahead and press play again and we'll see how you did. All right, let's see how it went for you. Um, on step one, um, I count six toothpicks. On step two, I count eight toothpicks. On step three, I count 10, which means if we continue on with this pattern, at this fourth step, there'd be 12. And at the zero step, there were four. So remember that in front of what's being multiplied by your X is your reoccurring number. So you're adding two each time, so we want the reoccurring number to be two. And your starting point is at your zero step right here, so that means that we should add four. Now if uh, we, we do want to double check this, I'll plug in three. Um, six times three, or two times three is six, six plus four is ten, and that is how many toothpicks are at that step. So you know that your expression is correct. Now what I wanna do is do a real world problem. Um, and you're gonna get some more practice on this stuff over the next few days, but let's go ahead and do another example. Um, this time, instead of using a pattern, I'm gonna do a real world problem. So we're gonna say, um, Sadie, and her family go on a road trip. They um, drive uh, 75 miles. the first day. On the second day, they travel at a rate of 65 miles per hour, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write an algebraic expression for this. We're gonna start by putting this data in a table, then we'll write the expression, and, um, and then we will um, you know, figure out how long it's gonna take them to get home, and I'll add that information. So let's pull out the, pull out the important information. We, are, we know that they've already driven 75 miles. 
Okay. Now, if you look back at the top here, that's what they're starting with. They're starting with 75 miles under their belt. Okay. Now, the rate that they're traveling is 65 miles per hour. Whenever you see that per, that tells you it's a rate. So when we write our expression, this is the rate, so this is gonna go in front of our variable, so it's gonna be 65. Instead of using an X this time, I'm gonna use an H for hours. And then we know that they've already driven 75 miles on their road trip the day before. Okay, so this is the expression that I would use to, to represent this data. Now, let's say that um, they drive for five hours. So let's say that the number of hours that they drive is five. And we want to find out how far into their road trip they are. We're going to take five. Whoa. We're going to plug it in. Okay, 65 times five to, I don't have a calculator here. I think it's 325. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and add this. So that means 400 miles. So, so far, you know, if they drive for five hours that day, they will have traveled 400 miles total for, on their trip, okay? Now, if you want to, you can also set up some data. You can have a table that says hours and miles. You know, when they start that day, they've already have 75 miles covered. And then you're gonna add 65 each time. So I think that's 140, right? see 40 yes and then after two hours it's gonna be 205 and so on okay um, so when you when you're writing expressions you're looking for the starting place and the rate or the reoccurring amount same thing on the patterns we looked for the starting place and the reoccurring amount so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn this over and I'm gonna have you practice one and then I have a worksheet that the sub is going to give you um, where you can work on a few of these kinds of problems.